Hello friends and a warm welcome back to Delightful DIY. I'm Laura and in today's video I want to take you to work with me. We've got to fix an outside garden tap. This is one of the main examples of a classic outside tap, half inch brass tap. Just make sure you've got a non-return valve in it. Some of the old plumbing suppliers still have old stock that's left on the shelf. Um, a non-return valve will basically stop any form of contaminated water being sucked back and get into the mains water system. For example, if you've got a hose on an outside tap and you've thrown it in a bucket of water and the water's gone stagnant. What a nightmare of a job this is turning out to be. So uh, the tap has been running for a very long time and it was probably the washer over the winter that has eroded away. Okay, but this is with frost expansion contraction of ice and water, and um, that's probably what's happened. However, it's so bad now that the post is rotten. It's an old post anyway, right? But the post is rotten. And now I am gonna struggle releasing the outside tap from the bracket that it's set into. I am also gonna struggle undoing the nut that attaches the water supply to the bracket because of calcification. That's where you've got deposits of uh, calcium that have built up through the water drip, 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 dripping for such a long period of time. What an absolute disaster but there's no good moaning about it. So we need to find the water supply and get the stop tap off. Uh, this is an external water supply that I'm looking for, which fortunately is right next to the tap. I'm using a long arm spanner, basically. It's just can grip the top of the tap, open it up. Uh, for you, I'm sorry to say, you might have to lie on the ground like I used to, put your hand down there and turn it off. I hope you don't mind spiders. For some outside taps, it takes quite a while for the flow of pressure to reduce. Uh, you will see a marked difference within the first 20 seconds, I would say. Under normal circumstances, I'd be using two adjustable spanners, a smaller one so as you can get into the nuts on the back of outside taps, a larger one so as you've got more uh, leverage, and then a water wrench as well because I've got a small nose water wrench which you can just open to a wide jaw but you can get in anywhere and again you've got some decent leverage. However, I foresee a problem where these will not work. Brace yourself gang, this is not going to be pretty. I cannot release the tap, I cannot release the uh, bracket properly, I have no stability with the post that I can get any leverage from, so I'm pretty much stuffed in every direction I turn. However, if in doubt, there is not a problem that we can't overcome together. So, we're going to go backwards, backwards, backwards until we find something that we can release and something that we can cut out. So at this point, I'm left with no other option than to cut through the plastic pipe, which means I've got my box of connections and I need a 20 mil coupler to join an old piece of pipe to a new piece of pipe. So if you're joining any underground water pipe, the first thing to do is within the coupler itself or the T or whatever connection you're gonna use, check that all the component parts are there. We have an internal plastic washer which grips the pipe as we tighten, but it's really important which way around you'll put this. All good, that is connected really quite strong. Give it a good tug, it's fine. Now if we put the washer on the incorrect way, just to watch how easy that pipe will blow off. Now this pipe is boxed in all year round, which means we're okay using water pipe, below ground water pipe, above ground, because it will not get the elements to it. All couplers are slightly different, but they all work on the same principle. If in doubt, get a coupler that's sold in a bag. The bag on the back will have all the instructions and it will tell you what elements are in there as well. It will show you washers, it will show you O-rings. You will have every aspect. So I'm replacing the old brass bracket with a new plastic bracket uh, because I'm going on to plastic uh, pipe and it just makes for a nicer fitting and the brass fitting will slot in really beautifully. 
Next we're going to take the brass tap fitting and we're wrapping it round with PTFE tape. This is to stop any leaks. Tighten up really well at this point because it will save you doing any leaks later. If you can't get it tight enough with your hands, get a water wrench on it. Finally, fit the bracket and the tap onto the plastic pipe and tighten all the connections. Low pressure when you turn the water on to start with. Oh guys, I danced too soon. This was the problem. <laughs> so now we've got to change every connection again. Take the water off, redo the whole thing. Uh, yeah, except for the tap at the end, right? Now this was really, really annoying. I've used a new connection, all the component parts there within the connection. It's fitted, it's been tightened with a water wrench and still we've got a leak. Occasionally, there will be a bad fitting connector that you buy. Um, if you buy cheap, you buy twice. As we all know, my dad told me that years ago and it's true, unfortunately. So I managed to find a Filmac, which are just the best of the best connections in my experience. They never have a leak, they never blow off. That's just my experience. I always open the new replacement tap fully so as there is no pressure build up, air pressure build up when I turn the stopcock on. When I turn the stopcock on I will turn it on fully all the way and then back half a turn or a full turn just so when I approach the stopcock again in the future for any water switch off it won't be seized fully on because often you'll find that it's really difficult to turn off or turn on because it's held in the full open position. For more tips and tricks on DIY things that really matter in and around the home, then do give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll let you know when we've got a new video out, which is every day.